I, female 35, threw away old photos of my husband, male 44, with his late wife years ago. He just found out and hates me for it. I met my husband four years ago and it was love at first sight. He was a widow and had a daughter, now 17. It was tough to deal with, I won't lie, but I wanted to be with him so badly that it didn't matter. We got married two years ago and we've had our struggles, I won't deny, but overall it has been a very happy, love-filled marriage. At the beginning of our relationship, I was really jealous of his late wife. He had pictures of her around his home. His family loved her and talked about her. His daughter, the same thing. His friends, the same. It was tough. I was comparing myself to her. She was beautiful, intelligent, successful. She was a great mother, friend, wife, whatever you can think of. I know that people don't like to speak ill of the dead, but I believe them when they say these things. I did speak to my then boyfriend about these feelings and he even took down some of the pictures later in our relationship. Still, his house never felt like my home as it felt like it was still hers. When we got engaged, we decided we would buy our own home and we moved in right before we got married. Side note, this was very stressful with the wedding so soon after, would not recommend. During the moving process, I found box after box of old photos and other materials. Photos of his ex, family photos, photos of them together, baby photos, everything. Some of these were Polaroids. They were so old. They had been together for many, many years and had so much history together. I don't know why at that moment I snapped, but I did. I threw the ones with her away. When we were putting photos up in the new house, I didn't put any of her except one with my stepdaughter. There was a box of her things and I donated some of the items and threw the rest away. I even went onto the computer and deleted photos he had stored on there. At the time, I felt like I won, maybe. I don't even know what I was thinking this would accomplish, but I did it. For the past two years, my husband hasn't noticed. My stepdaughter turns 18 soon. She's a very intelligent girl. She graduated early, goes to a top tier school, and is very well adjusted for someone who lost her mom so young. We have never been that close. I care for her, I do, but she never opened up to me and has never viewed me as a mom to her. I understand, but it hurts. Anyways, my husband's mom wanted photos of her as she was putting something together for her. He went to look for them, and as you can imagine, they weren't there. He asked me about them, and I admitted everything to him, as I wasn't going to lie to him. He is very angry at me and can barely look at me. I've asked him to go to marriage counseling, but he refuses. I'm 13 weeks pregnant and I'm trying to manage the stress. He's devastated, not just for his daughter, but for himself. I know he loved his late wife very much and if she was still there, he'd probably still be with her. He's been in tears half the time when he's speaking to me and won't sleep in the same room as me. I've tried to explain that I have felt guilt ever since and why I did it, but he doesn't care. He asked me what he's supposed to tell his daughter. Some of the materials I donated slash threw away were really important. I know that I screwed up. I know that I need to make this up to my husband and his daughter, but I don't know how to. This was such a monumental screw up on my part. I've always been jealous of her and I did not handle my emotions correctly. I've tried to track down photos of her by other people. And while I did find some from his parents and her friends, her parents died when she was young and she was raised by her grandparents who are now dead. There aren't many out there. Reddit, I love my husband and want to fix this more than anything. I know that I am hormonal right now and my mind is wandering around to every outcome that could happen. But what if this is the end of my marriage? I can't let that happen. I need to fix this. Wow. That's terrible. So I, <sighs> I mean, the first thought that I had was, obviously, look, she recognizes everything. The one thing that she didn't recognize, which was too bad, is that he married her. And as yep. much as that she, she realized how amazing his first wife was and who she was, that he would never have married anyone that was less of that kind of a person. So she didn't give herself enough credit yep. and caved in to her own you know, insecurity rather than, than, than take the confidence. That's why he married her in the first place, because how wonderful she is. Yeah, you screwed up. You you took away something that was really for her daughter. Right. And exactly. as much as that he loved her as well, he really was protecting 
and I really can't say what, I can't speak for him. I can only put myself in that place that I would protect everything I can for my daughter and my kids that they have of their mother. So they need to know that, that that's where, the, where a child yep. connects. Yep. And the daughter will come to her with realizing that she is secure and if she was. Right. It, her insecurity is, is her downfall and she needs to get some assistance with that. Yeah, this to me is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely unhinged. I again and again come across Reddit stories where people are with these partners and these partners are so insecure of people that are no longer around. Like you're competing with a ghost. Right. There, That person has no chance of ever coming back in the picture, ever competing with you, ever filling that role again. Like you are truly competing with someone who's gone. And that's just something I will never understand. Like I get being insecure. Like, yeah, she was a great mom, a great wife. If she was alive, we He, he would we be would, still with her because he would, he, right. that's the kind of guy he was. He was in love and he wasn't going to go leave his Ex- marriage. Exactly. And so, yeah, like just. Uh, and that's why you married him. And that's why you married him. It, uh, yes, you can. That can be said like, oh, yeah, he wouldn't be with you. But you are with him. And if you weren't with him, you probably would have met someone amazing, too. Who's not to say that you wouldn't have a great husband and relationship that you love just because it's not with him? You guys wouldn't have crossed paths. It wouldn't have been... You manipulated the situation, and that is the worst thing you can do in a relationship this is, is manipulate. This is so unhinged. And, like, I get taking pictures <clears> down. <throat> you, you moved in together. You're starting your life. You don't want to see reminders of this, you know, this woman. Even though she's gone, you don't want to see these reminders constantly. Mm-hmm. I understand that. I still think it's unfair, especially to the daughter. But I get that. So hide the boxes in the attic. Don't yep. look at them. To donate them and throw pictures, Polaroids, so old. And she, at the time, she knew what she was doing was wrong, even at the time. But she was so fucking unhinged. So, right. any, so I would say that anyone else that's reading this, that's, that's in a situation that they're fighting some of these same things, seek help. Therapy, you guys. If you are so. dealing with demons like this where you just think so like less of yourself and you're so insecure. And, and we've gonna, all and, had tough And you're going to devastate other people's lives and their feelings. And Therapy. Their f- Work on yourself. First. Because this is terrible. And like the daughter's 17 now. They got married four years ago. And I think she said the wife died a couple years before that, right? Like three years before. Mm-hmm. So the daughter was 10. Right. And her comments about... She's never looked at me like a mother. I get it, but it hurts. She was 10 when she lost her mom. She wasn't a baby. Mm -hmm. She knows who her mom was. She has full-fledged, full-formed memories of her her mom. Her Mm -hmm. job is to be a friend. Her job is to just come in, be a role model, model. be supportive. But you're never going to be that girl's mom. Some some children do want to adopt that step-parent as a motherly figure, and Mm -hmm. that's amazing if you can have that relationship. I've seen other stories like that. But what did you, you, you thought you were going to be her new mommy? When I came into your mom's life, your brother was five. And the one thing that I never wanted to do is ever pretend that I was going to be his dad. I was going to be a, a male figure that he can come to, talk to, always be there for him. And that was it. And if he wanted more, I'm there for that. But I, yeah. never, I, never, pressed, I never you know pressed myself to be his quote, quote, dad. And today, he, he's my son. Right. And I'm his dad. But that didn't happen because I forced it. That was something that he did on his own. And, and he came to that conclusion. Yeah. What do we tell this woman today? And how do, what advice do we have or, or thoughts do we have for her, for her marriage going forward? I don't know if she deserves that I family. Think if, I think if it happened to me, if I were the husband in this sense, I think it just... Even though it was a uh, like a spur of the moment decision that had been building up for a while, making that choice and actually following through with it, I would always have a distrust going forward, thinking something like that could happen again. Well, then she has to recognize that and have to have to work on how to how to build that trust. Right. That's really what it is. It's about the trust. I think because uh, there, there is a new baby involved here. There There's is. A new, there is a life here. But you can still they, co-parent with someone very right, amicably. But, 
if he can get, if, if, if they can bring it up and grow from the pain, look, every relationship has pain. I had plenty of pain in my but it's not, relationships. I think what's different here is it's not the fact that it's just between these two partners. Pain, when you submit your partner to pain, that's different. You can, you can choose as a, between you two as a partnership to grow mm -hmm. and overcome that. But look at the damage she just caused to a 17-year-old girl. Right. Mm -hmm. That is all she had left of her mother. Yep. And it's gone. Like I can understand a little bit of the feeling of being compared and judged by and he constantly hearing it from everyone almost to the point where it's like, okay, well, you know, here's what we're doing now. Here are the great times him and I have had. Yes, I respect her and whatever, but I can see how that can get under your skin. However, I can just not imagine going onto the computer and pressing delete or grabbing physical pictures she and lost putting her shit. them in there's the no, trash. There's no doubt she lost her shit. It's just crazy. <laughs> she went temporarily insane. There's yeah. no doubt she but went insane. To that point, it's one thing if you're moving and you find the boxes and you're triggered by all the, all the boxes, all that physical stuff in front of you. Yeah. But then she went so out of her way to get onto his computer and clean the computer out exactly. too. Exactly. She lost she, her shit. She's a malicious bitch. It is malicious. I do not like, oh, I get there's a baby on the way, but I'm sorry. I do not think this woman deserves this I would react the same way family. he did. Exact same way. Because he hasn't even told the daughter yet. And when this little girl finds out, she's not going to want a relationship at all with this woman. No. I sure wouldn't. No. This woman would be done in my book. Done. Yep. This is so, so disgusting and so hurtful. This is, you're, you, there's no coming back from this. I get she did this in the heat of the moment. It was all out of anger. She lost it. She snapped. But then oh. after throwing stuff away and after you cool down, don't you think you would have been like, shit. Okay, wait. No, that was wrong. I need to go try to get this shit so, back. So, yeah. So let's, let's talk about one other thing. Where is the computer that she deleted? We don't number know. One, because number two, you can recover a drive. I have had stuff, and I went through and I did complete disk recoveries. What happens? You get, you don't have all the subdirectories. You don't have, and you don't have the extensions. You don't have the. It's basically a number, yeah. Dot, and then it replaces now. What extensions you want to put on it? You got to figure it out. It's tough, but it's there. It just pulls the extension off. Is what it really does. Yeah, and so it's two unreadable. Years later. So it. There, there yeah, is two a, years later now. That's the other thing. This is all, you know, two I, years. I got it, but it's, you know, she's, she, she's grasping it, it, it literally straws. And if, if there is a straw to be had, it's worth a shot to give it a shot. No. Yeah. There's. That doesn't take, it doesn't take away the insanity. That's something that they're going to have to work on in that trust. Yeah. And she needs help. Yeah. So this is an oldie. This happened four years ago. There was no update. She removed the post. And this one kind of flew under the radar. There was only 175 comments on this one. Um, the top one is pretty long, but I'll read a little bit of it. Forget marriage counseling. A therapist for yourself might be a good first step. This isn't a you and him problem. This is a you problem. Yes. Your jealousy and impulsivity have done your relationship serious harm. So working on that seems like it should be a priority. And whatever you do, don't you dare try and justify this to him in any way. Your best bet is to fall on your sword and admit you fucked up with no qualifications. Start adding little asides like, but I was jealous or but anything. And that may well be the end of everything. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with him and everything to do with you. So own that 100%. There's a bunch of edits That's in her real. thing too. And whenever you address it with him or his daughter, focus on their feelings and what you basically stole from them. Let them express their unhappiness and anger however they see fit. Yes, it'll be hard, but it's the only option here. Try and drag any sympathy out of them for your situation slash feelings or try and tell them not to feel however they feel and you'll lose whatever molecule of respect or understanding they might have. Playing up your own guilty feelings is not the approach to take here. Yeah, Quote, I wasn't going to lie to him, and, quote, I felt guilty ever since are what rubbed me up the wrong way, aside from you, you know, the whole thing. You didn't feel guilty ever since. If you'd felt guilty even afterwards, you could have retrieved the items. 
dug through the garbage, something. Yep. But you're only feeling guilty now because you're finally facing consequences for your actions. And don't try and claim moral high ground with, I wasn't going to lie to him. I realize right. now why the idea of you trying to play for sympathy came to me because that's what you're already doing. Your stepdaughter is likely going to resent you forever. Whatever your husband does or however you try to fix it, he's invested enough to maybe try if you're really lucky because of marriage and a baby. But your stepdaughter, consider yourself lucky if she ever talks to you again. And OP replied, I will not try to justify it to him at all. I know it is indefensible. He's never done anything to make me feel like he didn't love me. My mom asked me years ago if I was okay with this, as she didn't think I was. She was right, but I loved my husband so much already that it didn't matter to me. I've struggled with being impulsive before, but it's never been this bad. I like, I get her comment like, oh, I just loved him so much and nothing mattered. But to that point, when you love someone that, so that was much. Obs that's obsession. That's not even love, it's, that's just obsession. No, it's an unhealthy obsession. Like right. when you love someone so much, you love them for who they are, their past, because their past made them who they are. Mm -hmm. It shaped them. Right. This so, was obsession. This was obsession. It's, it's, again, so unhinged that she wanted him no matter what. She had to have him. Like her comment. She wanted to win. Yeah, she did. As she said. So someone goes, they like reply back to what she said. At the time, I felt like I won maybe. And they popped off. She's dead. Of course you won. Jesus Christ. What you did was so beyond wrong. It's inexcusable. It was evil. Not just to him, but you threw away photos of your stepdaughter's mother because you felt you were somehow in competition with her. That's unfixable. If your marriage ends because of this, it will be because you made a horrible choice. All you can do is pray your husband forgives you. And OP goes, I know that she's dead. I've always been jealous of her and it was all in my own head. I was very insecure because I know that if she was here, we wouldn't be together and it drove me crazy. It wasn't right and I should speak to someone alone about it. It's just so interesting to be able to make a choice like that but then also later realize... Have that self-awareness? Yeah. Well, reality hit her square in the forehead. He's pissed. He's I know, done. but I'm shocked that it... He's that done, she, and she's grasping whatever she can do. To I go, guess, but I'm just shocked well, that... I have no idea what, it's really, what effect it's really going to make on her, what she's really going to do about right. it. Right. Is she really going to get help? Well, and the thing is, too, like her house of cards is really tumbling right now, and it's so interesting to me... Because there's there's narcissists and there's like narcissistic personality disorder. And like narcissists don't have narcissistic personality disorder if they don't think anything's wrong with them. But she's recognizing that there's something wrong with her and there's this self-awareness. So it almost makes me wonder if she's got, obviously she's got crazy insecurity and lack of confidence and all this other stuff. But it almost makes me wonder if there's something else mental health wise going on where She's so self-centered about herself and so insanely jealous of this other person and felt threatened by this other person because of being a narcissist or because of having some almost uh, histrionic, I believe. Uh, yeah, histrionic, um, which basically is another personality disorder where you're just, you lack sincerity and you're like very obsessed with yourself. I don't even think she honestly thinks that she needs to change it all. I feel like she just feels bad for the one action. Well, I, I think that she recognizes that she needs to change. <laughs> I don't know if she had, if she's going to go through with it. That's the question. But even in her responses, she's like, oh, I, I'm just, I was just so jealous and all this stuff. Like she still is thinking the she's same trying way. To, she's trying to justify it. I, I don't know if she will. It doesn't will. feel genuine to me. It doesn't feel super genuine because of the fact she's trying to justify it. Right. Like versus just being like, I fucked up. I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. I fucked up. Well, I'll, it'd be interesting to see what OP, what, what she posts in one year from now. This was four years ago. There's no updates. No updates. Nothing. Well, OP, if you see this. <laughs> oh, yeah. TikTok has a weird way of... Uh, Bring it out, baby. Tell us what you did about it. And we hope things went well for you. I don't. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> well, I'd like to see that that, that that she got help and things changed. Look, she owns what she did. You can't change the past, but you can change you you can change for the future if if she made the change, and maybe something good could come from that. I mean, you got to make 
You hope that some good comes out of something totally bad and moronic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just searching Reddit to see if there were any updates with the same title posted after and and um, nothing. Okay, we're time to roll on the next one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty despicable. <laughs>